Bwana Yesu asifiwe kiinua mkono. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you sleep well? Je, ulilala salama? Did you sleep in peace? Je, ulilala kwa amani au ulisumbuka? May the power of the Holy Ghost nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu na ziwe mightily upon us today. Ziwe kwa uzito kwetu. When we are worshiping, wakati tulikuwa tunaabudu, when we are dancing, wakati tulikuwa tunacheza, when we are listening and preaching, wakati tunasikiliza mahubiri, while we are eating and fellowshipping together, wakati tunakula na kushirikiana pamoja, the power of the holy ghost, nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu, mightily upon us today. Ziwe kwa ukuu kwetu. Today is our day. Leo ni siku yetu to receive from the hand of the Lord. Kupokea kutoka kwa Bwana. Bwana asifiwe. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Roho Mtakatifu unakaribishwa. You are welcome, Spirit of God. Wakaribishwa Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu. May the glory of God come down today. Utukufu wa Bwana na ushuke sasa. Let the oil of gladness come upon the people. Wema na furaha ije juu ya watu wa. The oil of joy. Mafuta ya furaha. The balm of Gilead. Ma, 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 mafuta ya Kilieti. The rose of Sharon. Ile maua ya rose ya kondeni ya Sharuni. The lion of the tribe of Judah. Simba wa kabila la Yuda. The lamb that was slain. Mwana kondoo aliyechinjwa. Be mighty in this house. Uwe mkuu katika nyumba hii. We welcome you. Toku karibisha. Greatness of heaven. Ukuu wa mbinguni. Come and love on your people today. Kucha na upende watu wako leo. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. Receive greetings Pokeeni salamu from the Holy Ghost Kutoka kwa Roho Mtakatifu He is here Yuko hapa with his greetings this morning Ameleta salamu zake asubuhi Our hearts are open Mioyo yetu imefunguka Our ears are open Masikio yetu imefunguka to receive the greetings of the Holy Ghost Pokea salamu za Roho Mtakatifu Amen Amen My wife and our children send their greetings. Bibi yake na watoto wameotumia salamu pia. We are blessed in Jesus. Tumebarikiwa katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah to the Lamb. As hallelujah kwa maana kondoo. I said it yesterday. Nilisema jana. And I do not take it lightly. Na sichukulii kiurahisi. For 11 years. Miaka 11 moja. Such a light thing is hard to accomplish. Mambo kama haya ni magumu kutimiliza. Only by God can such things happen. Ni Mungu tu awezaye kufanya mambo haya kutendeka. And I am believing na naamini for 11 more years. Kwa miaka mingine 11 moja. And more. Na zaidi. May God do exceedingly abundantly above. Mungu atende zaidi na kuzidisha kwa utele juu yetu. And I look with expectation. Na natazama kwa matarajio. For my bishop to write me kwa askofu wangu kuniandikia and to tell me the stories of what God is doing through you na kuniambia mambo ambayo Mungu anatenda ndani mwenu of the fire that is burning across Kenya kwamba ule moto ambao unachoma katika nchi ya Kenya the flames of revival are burning ile chimbuko la uvivio iwake under the sheets of tents katini chini ya katika hema under the tents chini ya hema under the, the, the bags of maize that are sown together chini ya makunia ya mahindi ambayo yameshonwa pamoja in the open fields katika viwanja the flames of revival burning moto wa uvivio unachoma i believe naamini do you believe je waamini that we will never be the same kwamba hatutabaki sawia And we say to that which is behind us. Na tusema kwa yale yaliyo nyuma yetu. Ebenezer. Ebenezer. It is behind us. 
It is there. We go forward in the name of Jesus. And God has not brought us thus far to abandon us now. He has not brought us thus far to leave us now. He has brought us thus far to show us his glory. When the children of Israel came unto the, to the wilderness, when they came to the Red Sea, when they came to the Jordan River, they beheld his glory. When you come to that which is impossible, stand and see the glory of God. I am looking at a people that will tell me what I'm looking at is impossible. Brother Simeon, it is impossible. And I will stand and tell you to be still and know that he is God. And see the glory of God. To behold the majesty of heaven. To be still and know and watch him work. To behold the wonders of God. Every one of us here have stories. We have testimonies. We have miracle testimonies. Things we have seen and heard. But I'm telling you, it's only the beginning. There is more coming. Stand and see the glory of God. Behold the wonders of God. When you preach, you preach under the unction of the Holy Ghost. When you sing, you sing under the unction of the Holy Ghost. When you play the instruments, you play under the fire of God. And when your fingers move on the keys, when your hand beats on the drums, release the anointing of God. When you speak, you speak under the unction of the Holy Ghost. Here's the fire of God. Here's the flames of the Holy Ghost. Here is the fire of God. You sing under the unction of the fire of God. You dance under the unction of the anointing of God. You play under the anointing of God. You preach under the anointing of God. Your children in the anointing of God. You go forth in the unction of the function of the glory of God. In this world, will never be the same. When we stand, we stand in the glory of God. When you go forth, you go forth in the glory of God. I'm telling you, you bring your microphone and you preach under the anointing and you release the glory of God. And we receive his glory. Let it come upon us. The freshness of the outpouring of the glory of God. You are not just preachers. You are women of God. You are men of God. Anointed by God. Called by God. You are sent by the most high God. And when you go forth. They follow you because you believe in your God. It is He that called you. It is He that anointed you. It is He that has sent you to be Now you go forth in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. That is how you go. Men. They take the oil and they anoint. And they pray over you. But it is God who called you. It is God who sent you. And it is God who keeps you. And it is God who works in you. With you. And through you. Now you go. In the anointing of the Holy Ghost.
no matter your age. My brothers may be younger. But they may still go in the glory of God. He's looking for somebody. That will just say, Lord, here am I. Send me. Is there anybody here? They would say, Lord, here am I. Is there someone who would say, Lord, if you can do anything, use me. If you're going to do something today in Webuye, use me. I want to be a part of what you're doing. I don't want to just stand afar and see it. I want to be involved in it. Here am I. Here are my feet. Send me. I will go. Bonus if you may. Praise the Lord. <laughs> He's here. You go happen. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. We are blessed. To my body, kiwa. by the most high God. Yeah, amen. Yeah, amen. Yeah, amen. You are blessed to my body, kiwa. by the most high God. Yeah, amen. Mm. Yeah, amen. Mm. Yeah, amen. You have something Una kitu. money cannot buy. Pesa All over the world, they build their big sanctuaries because they believe God is pleased in their big sanctuary. But Jesus does not dwell in that sanctuary, He dwells inside of you. We are the sanctuary, we are the carriers of the presence of God. In the Old Testament, He dwelt in the tabernacle. And he dwelt inside above the Ark of the Covenant. Between on the mercy seat. He dwelt between the cherubs. But today, today, I said today, he sits on the throne. And his presence is in my heart. He abides inside me. Everywhere I go, his presence goes. I am a carrier of the presence of God. Are you there? Are you a carrier of the presence of God? Are you a carrier of the presence of God? I ask you this morning, are you a carrier of the presence of God? His glory abides in me. His presence is inside me. He is the king of all kings. He is the Lord of all lords. His name Jinalaki. Yeshua. Yeshua. Yesu. 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 Yes, Jesus. Yes, in whatever language you want to call his name. He is the same. He was yesterday. He's already in tomorrow. And he is in today with us. She has not left us. He has not abandoned us. He has not forsaken us. Today, Leo. he loves on us. Receive from him today. We have needs. He has answers. You have questions. He has direction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 9. 
Mariko sura ya tisa. Mark chapter 9. Mariko sura ya tisa. Verse 38. Kifungu cha thalathina na, na nane. Mariko tisa kifungu cha thalathini na nane. Yohana haka mjibu, haka mwambia. Mwalimu, tulimuona mtu haketua pepo kwa jina lako, ambaye hafatani nasi. Tuka mkataza kwa sababu hafatani nasi. John says, Yohana nasema, Teacher, Jesus, Mwalimu, yes. Someone was casting out devils. Mtu walikuwa natuwa mapepo. But he wasn't doing it the way we do it. So we stopped him. Now to understand the importance of this verse. We must first back up in the chapter. In Mark chapter 9. It starts with the Mount of Transfiguration. Peter, James and John. Petero, Jacobo, na Yohana, are up on the mountain with Jesus where they see him transfigured in front of them they are beholding the glory of God they are beholding Jesus talking with two of the prophets he is talking with Moses and Elijah they are seeing him in glory they come down the mountain they are confused they are coming down the mountain a man comes to Jesus and he says to Jesus Master I brought my son to your disciples but they could not cast out the demon okay stop right there had Jesus already sent the disciples out in pairs of two and what did he tell them to do as you go in Matthew chapter 10 you will find Jesus told the disciples as you go you preach the kingdom of God and then you heal the sick you cleanse the lepers you cast out demons you raise the dead he commanded them what to do. True? Yeah. Did they go and do what they were commanded to do? Yes. And let me ask you, was Judas part of those that weren't? Yes. The one who betrayed Jesus? Did he go and see signs and wonders? Yeah. Did he lay his hands on the sick? Yeah. And they were healed? You're telling me that the man who betrayed my Savior saw signs and wonders through his hands? How can this be? Because you believe greatness in God is to see signs and wonders. You believe a man or woman 
is great in God when they lay their hands on the blind and their eyes are then they must be a powerful man of God brothers and sisters do not follow signs and wonders do not follow signs and wonders follow the anointing of God we need men we need women who see signs and wonders but they also have integrity and character we need men and women when they see the shillings fall out of the trouser pocket they don't slip over and we call ourselves men of God maybe I'm a thief but I still lay my hands on the sick and they recover because the Bible is true and all I have to do is believe I can still believe and be a liar Jesus warned you and I watch Uemacho. Watch. Uemacho. Be looking. Uangalia. The wolves are coming. Mbamwitu wanakuta. The wolves are coming. Mbamwitu wanakuta. And they're already among us. Na wako ndani mwetu. But no one wants to admit. Na kuna natana ya taka kukiri hiyo. I'm the wolves. Mime ndiyo mbamwitu. <laughs> on the inside I see a young man who's gifted and talented I can use him to help my ministry but on the outside. Brother Kalab. Ndu Kalapu. Brother. Nduku. I see the anointing of God. No, no, we. Hallelujah. To come with me, man. I will train you. I will help you. To become a son of hell like me. But on the outside. Brother. Look, you're looking good. You're anointed by God. Yes. Hallelujah, powerful. Mighty man. I'm deceiving him. Because on the inside, I'm figuring out how to use him to help my ministry. Give him a clap. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be careful. What grows inside your heart. We desire to see signs and wonders but signs and wonders do not make you great in the kingdom I believe there are people in hell who saw signs and wonders but in their heart they were wicked 
I believe na amini, there are people in heaven kuna watu mbinguni, who saw signs and wonders na miuji, but they are the least in the kingdom wao ni ufame, because their heart was not completely right. The greatness of your ministry is not found in the size of your church building. The greatness of your ministry is not found in how many countries you go to. The greatness of your ministry is not found in how many CDs you produce. The greatness of your ministry is not found in signs and wonders. The greatness of your ministry is found in the presence of God. Before you are an apostle, before you are a preacher, before you are a prophet, before you are a teacher or an evangelist, you must first be a child of God. Your titles are not important in the presence of God. Of God. You are small. I am small in his presence. We must humble ourselves. To be great in his kingdom is to serve. We want a powerful conference. Yes. Then did you come to serve? Or to be served? The power of a true conference is found when we come to serve. Did you get that? I have many titles. I have two Bible school degrees. But I didn't come here to be served. I came here to serve you. Greatness in the kingdom. Is found in his presence and in serving my brother. Amen. I have many titles. They call me many names. I have seen many, many signs and wonders. But I am nothing more than a servant of God. You may call me an apostle. You may call me a prophet. You may call me pastor. You may call me an evangelist. You may call me teacher. But first, I'm a child of God. Second, I'm a servant. And then I step into my office. He gave some to be apostles. Some to be prophets. Some to be evangelists. Pastors. Teachers. Do you understand? But before I can operate in that office, I must be empowered in his presence. If I'm not empowered in his presence, then my office carries very little power. And when I'm not in his presence, 
presence. I'm looking at my brother. And jealousy can grow in my heart. Because what I see God doing in my brother. And I desire for God to do in my life. But I have not spent the time in his presence. For him to empower me to greatness. He empowers me to be a better servant. And when I'm a better servant, and I've humbled myself, he can then exalt me because I have kicked pride out of my heart. Therefore, he can exalt me, but he cannot exalt me as long as I have pride in my heart. When you allow pride to rule in your life, you will go very little in what he really desired for you to do. We come to meetings like this and when we're not allowed to introduce ourselves that we are the pastor, the bishop, the women's leader and we're never given opportunity to preach, we leave offended and we never go back because your pride is more important to you than humbling yourself before God. When you're not introduced in the order of your titles, I'm offended. We're glad to have the pastor evangelist with us today. Please come give your greetings. I am apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor Jason. And I'm glad to be here with you today. All I'm doing to you is proving my ministry is bigger than yours. My pride is here. Hey! Hey! If you want to be healed, Come on, come see me. <laughs> Bring something smaller. <laughs> no offering, just appreciations. <laughs> if you want God to heal through you, you need my anointing oil. When I touch him, because you think the powers in the oil. You can keep your oil. Because without the anointing of Jesus. You can pour all the oil you want. Nothing's going to happen. That's, that is sanctioned by God. But I will show you. In the next session, Lord willing, that God is doing, but the devil is also doing. Be careful what you follow. The disciples, Peter, James, and John, Petro, Jacob, and Johanna, had been on the mountain with Jesus. They come down the mountain. The father brings his son, says Jesus. 
I brought my son to your disciples. But they could do nothing with him. Jesus, I've heard the stories. Your disciples laid hands on other sick people and they were healed. Why do you think he brought his son to the disciples? Because people had heard what they had been doing. They had been going and doing the workings of Jesus. But when the daddy brought his son, they laid their hands on the demon possessed man and nothing happened. Nothing. They might as well have been eating Ugali. Nothing was happening. They might as well have been drinking chai. They were praying, but nothing happened. Why? They had seen God move through them before. Jesus had given them authority and power. He has given us authority and power. But so many people we have prayed for. Nothing has happened. Are you there? Let's read. To so Verse 23. Give a Yes, so Akawambia. Ukiweza. Yote Yanawezakana Kwake Amini. Jesus says all things are possible. To him that believeth. And then he commands the deaf and dumb spirit to come out of the boy. In the other account of this story. Why did Jesus say they were not able to cast out the demon? You know the answer. Because of their unbelief. Unbelief by people who had seen God work. And then if you keep reading here, Jesus says unto them, verse 29, Akawambia, namna hii haiwezi kutoka kwa neno lolote isipokuwa kwa kuomba. This kind aina hii does not come out haitoki tu except by isipokuwa kwa kuomba. Prayer kuomba and the other translation says prayer and fasting. Na nakala zingine zinasema kwa kuomba na kufunga. Let me ask you. What did Jesus say? Yesu alisema does not come out. Haitoki except by prayer and fasting. Isu bakwa katika kuomba na kufunga. And do not tell me the demon. Usiniambie ni mapepo. Do not tell me the demon comes out by prayer and fasting. Usiniambie mapepo hutoka kwa kuomba na kufunga. What can only come out by prayer and fasting? Nini inaweza kutoka kwa maombi na kufunga peke yake? Unbelief. Unbelief. Why were they not able to cast out the demon? Unbelief. He tells his disciples. Disciples. This cannot come out of you unless by prayer and fasting. Why could we not cast out the demon? 
Because of your lack of prayer and fasting, fasting opens your prayer before God. So you know how to pray according to the will of God. Fasting opens your ears to hear better of heaven. of God I'm praying according to his will and when I pray according to his will first John tells me he hears me and he answers me are you there to go up let me illustrate
Na pomba, by the Spirit of God, kwa roho wa Mungu, he goes to my father. Awenda kwa baba yangu. They talk and they answer. Wanaongea na mwanajibu. Utume malaika wake. Na jibu langu. Amen. Wewe ndio malaika, kuja malaika yetu. Ah, malaika. I pray. Naomba. It rises. Inaunuka. They're answering me. Wananijibu. He commands his angels. Anaamuru malaika wake. Ukuja. With my answer. Na jibu langu. I pray. Naomba. Malaika leta jibu. Sasa nipokee yale malaika beleti kwa imani. How long does it take to happen? Inachukua muda gani ndio itendeke? When Daniel wakati Daniel met with Gabriel. Alikutana na Gabriel. Gabriel came and told him. Gabriel akamwambia, "You pray." Uliomba. God immediately answered you. Mungu kabla akajibu. But lakini Jibu Jibu ni kwa na shida kufikia Unafikiri mungu wa jibu jibu Anailete Do not grow weary Uzi choke. Your answer has already been sent. Chibu lako ni metuma tayari. Tuko pamoja. When you pray. Uwambapo. By the spirit of God. Kwa roho wa mungu. Who lives inside of you. Akaaya ndani mwetu. Kabla. Your answer. Your prayer is rising before God. Jesus is already talking to the Father. Yes, He immediately sends your answer. Na anatuma jibu. When you pray, unapoomba, you must believe lazima uamini that you have received kwamba umapokea jibu lako. Mark 11:24. Mariko 11:24. Pray believe. Unapoomba amini kwamba umepokea itapewa wewe asadini tumeelewana kwa hii amini pokea buwana Lord, if it be your will. Bwana ikiwa mapenzi yako. Me see if someone's watching me. Na mtu anakuangalia. Jesus, if it be your will, come and my prince, Iaku. Do you not know the will of God? Why would you be my prince, Iaku? It is so funny to me. Ni aje bokuangu. When we come in a place like this, na bokuwe ya mara kama hapa. People who at home. Watu walio nyumbani they pray like this wanaomba hivi wanaomba wanalala sivyo ni mnaomba nyumbani wako wanalala oh it's been an hour amen oh <laughs> <laughs> but we come in a place like this. Again, I put your money come up. Shut up, hey! 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 Hey!
Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Yay! Yeah! Yeah! But at home, I get in your bun. You're a fake. Where do you stand? And a liar. Number one go. You're a fake. Wait, wait, off your son. And a liar. And you have very little power. Because when you pray, you want people to hear you and to think you are great in God. Shame on us. We want people to think we're great. But when it comes to casting out demons, we will find who's been along in the presence of God and who knows how to pray out loud in front of people. They brought to the disciples they could do nothing. And Jesus rebuked them. And he told them. The unbelief in your heart cannot come out. Until you pray and fast. 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 Jesus told Peter. Watch and pray. Lest you fall into temptation. I believe if Peter had watched and prayed, he would never have denied Jesus. But because he did not watch and pray, he fell to the temptation. Temptations come, but you do not have to fall to the temptation. When people come to me, if they say to me, Brother Simeon, Pray for me. I'm struggling. I, I'm wanting victory in this area, but I'm struggling. What you're telling me is you've not been praying like you should. When I'm weak, he is strong. That's what the word says. But when I'm weak, I go to the one who is strong. I go to him. When you pray, you pray by the Spirit of God, by the will of God. And when you pray by His will, He hears you, He answers you. We must learn how to pray by the Spirit of God. Not like I'm just throwing things into the air. Some of us, we pray as if God is a million miles away. Oh, God! He's right here going, what? Why are you yelling at me? When you talk to your husband or your wife, hey! Hey! why don't you come over here? When they're standing right here. When you're speaking to your friend, hey! Hey! how have you been doing? No. Uh -uh. I speak here. Right. 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 I'm speaking to him because he's here. But, you but many of us, we pray. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's here. You go up, He's right here. Up, up, up. When you go to cast out demons, we get the command, my people. Come back. 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 Come back.
Daniel, rise The demon's right there. Therefore, they go to him. He don't have to yell at him. Like last one, they get yelling at him talking. You're yelling at the demon as if he's in hell. Now, big up, Pepper, get in the car. You go to sleep. Hey, demon! Papa! Isn't that how we do? Yes. 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 The word says, yes. Jesus cast out the demons yes. with a word. Yes. He healed the sick yes. with a word. Yes. He did not come yes. to the lame man yes. in the name of my father. But that's how we do. What do you need? When I touch him, oh, you need prayer. When I touch my own, we gear up for it. No, 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 no. Like a bull charging. Come on, come on, come on. In the name of Jesus. Come on, come on. You know it's true. When I do it, you queen. It's how we do. You want to find your mom because we are emotional people. Let me tell you, being louder does not make the demon leave. Being louder does not heal the person. It makes us look better. But Jesus. I feel it coming. No, no, get ready. Get yeah. ready. Ready to receive. Okay. In the name of Godzilla. Wow. 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 You're safe. Some of these are scared of me right now. This is how we do. Stay here. You were in the In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I said. In Jesus' name. fall. If I have to take you down. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The next one has prepared himself. Oh, yeah. You're not pushing me down. Here I come. In Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tell me I'm wrong. Because we think. When they go down, surely something's happening. I am great in God. Here I come. Are you ready? I feel it. In the name of Jesus. With a Word. Your authority is in your word. It is signified by the laying on of hands. I'm releasing what's already in me. In the name of Jesus.
This is how we do it. Because I was in the presence of God. And I take that presence. And people with a whip, but I say, demon, you unclean spirit, come out of this child, come out of this woman, come out of this man, come out of this elder, in the name of Jesus. I'm a carrier of his presence I'm an ambassador so when I speak to the demon my, my, my problem is not with the person my problem is with the infirmity the sickness the disease the spirit I speak to the infirmity. And I say infirmity in the name of Jesus. Leave this man and never return. Now, in the name of Jesus. Am I a man of God? Do I walk in the authority of God? I don't have to yell. To show I'm great in God. When I get excited, I'm emotional. Just make sure when you get loud and emotional, it's not to impress the bishop. I am not here to impress the bishop. He should know I do it. by the Spirit of God if I'm in God. Spirit bears witness with spirit. Not because of my loud, but because I'm in the Spirit of God. Are you following me? Go in the Spirit of God. And yes, we get emotional, and sometimes I even get loud. It's because I'm human, and I'm excitable. See, some people, they tell me, even you Africans, you don't have to do all the movies to worship God. You don't have to do all that to worship God. And I ask them, how else am I to worship God unless my flesh moves? To worship God. How else do I worship God? Unless my mouth opens. Hey! Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Don't be so loud, brother. And I want to ask them. Then why are you wanting to go to heaven? Because it's loud in heaven. According to the Bible, there's 30 minutes of silence and that's all. Even right now, before the throne of God, the four and twenty elders, they are bowing before His throne. The four living creatures, they are before the throne of God. And they are shouting back and forth. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. He was and is and is. I believe there are other things in his presence that are not written in the Bible. There are many things in his presence that he didn't tell us about. Because we didn't need to know. Well, I'm telling you this when you let people like us get together in the presence of God it's not going to be quiet anymore. we know how to worship so 
We know how to move. Tunajua jinsi ya kucheza and glorify God. Na kutukuza Mungu. We know how to open our mouths. Tunajua jinsi ya kuchukua our whole world. Na kutukua ulimwengu wote. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. When we get there on that day, what a day that's going to be. Because yes, we went. We healed the sick. We raised the dead. We cast out the demons. We cleansed the lepers. Freely we received it. Freely we give it. All because of Jesus. Yes. Now let's read this verse one more time before we finish. Mark chapter 9. Mark chapter 9. Verse 38. Yohanna akamjibu. Akamwambia. Mwalimu. Tulimuona mtu aketoa pepo kwa jina lako. Ambaye hafuatani nasi. Tukamukataza kwa sababu hafuatani nasi. We must understand that God will use other people too. God will use people that are not of your denomination. God will use people that you did not disciple. Do not fight what God is doing in them. Now also understand out of this scripture They had already been casting out demons They had already been doing the workings of God But when the father brought his son They were not able to do it But they became jealous When they met someone else Who was doing what they should have been doing John says there was somebody else who was doing what we could not do. And we told him to stop. Bishops, pastors, leaders, no matter our age, there will be some who raise up in God who have faith in God who are hungry for a move of God and they may pass us do not be jealous of them but join them in seeking God because they are walking in what we used to walk in. But we became so big in ministry. We became so busy in ministry. That we stopped praying and fasting. And now you are not walking in the authority and power that you once walked in. Because you are not fasting and praying. Do not become jealous of the younger men and women When they set themselves aside to pray and fast And they walk in the authority and power of God And now you become jealous of them And you treat them Like Saul treated David And you try to kill their ministry. Because we become jealous of what God is doing in the younger man. And the problem is. Is we see in that young man. What we used to be. But you became so busy. Working for God. Like Martha. That you stopped being Mary sitting at his feet. I challenge you. Man of God. 
Watumishi wa Mungu. So man of God. Watumishi wa kweli wa Mungu. Let's get back to to root what God us here. Ya ya leo tulete hapa prayer maombi and fasting. Na kufunga prayer maombi and fasting. Na kufunga prayer when no one's watching. Tunapomba mtu aone fasting when no one else knows. Tunafunga mtu asijue. Get in the secret place before God. Kwenda mahali pa siri mbele za Mungu. Get along with God. Kwenda na Mungu. And the next time they bring. Na wakati mwingine wakilete. The demon possessed boy to. Wenye kijana mapagao na mapenzi. Come out of prayer and fasting. Unatoka katika maombi na kufunga. You look that young man in the eye. Unaangalia kile kama. You speak to the demon inside. Na unazungumza kwa mapapo ndani. And you say demon. Na unasema mapapo. You foul spirit. You are wrong. Come out of this young man. And never return. By the name and the authority of Jesus Christ. And when the young man gets up, you go right back into prayer and fasting. People will try to tell you. What a great man of God you are. You say thank you. And you go back to God. And you tell him all the glory is yours. I won't know honor except the honor from men. That God tells us to give one another. You honor the men and women of God around you. But the praise of men. I'm not looking for. I want all of my reward to be in heaven. I don't want my reward on this earth. Apo. Get back to prayer and fasting, brothers. Let's teach the younger men what it means to pray all night long. When we were in Bible schools, they taught us how to pray. Are we teaching the young men how to pray? We must pour ourselves into the next generation. See, I remember as a child, my brother played the piano. Many, many times, I would fall asleep underneath her, sitting at the piano playing in worship. My mother learned how to worship in the quietness of her own house. So when she came to people, she could lead people where she knew how to go. We cannot lead people to the presence of God if we don't know the presence of God. As a singer, as a worshiper, I cannot worship God and lead people to his presence if I do not know how to get in his presence when I am alone and by myself. I don't need the keyboard to have a song in my heart. I don't need the guitar. I don't need the drum. I don't need the CD. The Lord puts a song in my heart. And I praise the Lord continually. Let his praise be on my lips. May the Lord be magnified. Jesus is king. Shetani baro ni mwongo. Never kiss me.